Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to look at Prison AI. It's a tool that helps you build AI agents in few minutes. So it's a centralized tool that basically uses orchestration frameworks like Crew AI or Autogen in the backend. And you can just build an AI agent with just few lines of code or commands. That's what we're going to look at in this video that how we can use Prison AI to build AI agents faster. Now, if you look at here on my screen, I'm on the GitHub repository called Prison AI. Already have around 2K star and not a pretty old, like a recent uh, kind of a tool that has been created by Marvin Prison. So, credit goes to him, you know, for creating this uh, tool. And if you read here, it says combines Autogen and Crew AI or similar frameworks into a low code solution because you know if you look at what's happening in the gen ai ecosystem the research group the organizations who are working like in the ai the ai for startups they will be probably building the foundational models and some you know uh, libraries like langchain that's what harrison chess did you know in, initially now now what's happening that people are you know the individuals or the research group are looking at these are different components and they are building tools on top of it and that's what we that's what has happened with present ai now we're going to use this and i'm going to show you how you can build one now i already have installed present ai you can see i am here on my uh, notebook okay on colab you don't need gpu and anything like that okay so the first thing is that i'm going to use open ai but you can use any other models you want you know so i'm going to use the model from open ai but you can use grok hugging face etc if you want to try with some open source LLM by the way Grok is not open source never be in that dilemma guys okay Grok helps you or Grok make Grok makes open source model available through their own infra so even if you use their API you are sending the data to Grok okay, so keep that in mind now what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to import OS and from google.colab import user data and then I'm going to have os.invan and I'm going to have openai underscore openai key and let's just run this and I'm given grant access now after that present AI when you run a command it generates a YAML file so if you have worked with autogen or you know any other agent framework you know basically it has a config file or a yaml file where you you know define all of the processes or the workflows you know what model you know who what kind of agent single agent or multi agent and so on and so forth right and that's what you can also do by a single line of command so the flow is like that first you have to give what you want to do with this your agentic workflow so for example if i want to create a movie script so what I will do, I'll just write here Prison, and this is how you can create the YAML file here. So I'm going to do Prison, and this is how you do it. And if you look at, if you do Prison AI help, it will probably give you all the help if they have that arguments over there. Okay, uh, and it takes a bit of time. Now what I'm going to do next is, I'm going to have Prison AI. This will basically you initiate, and I'm going to do an init. So I'm initializing something. Okay, I'm initializing. You can see it has init. If you did Prison AI help, it shows auto. Auto means enable auto mode and pass argument for auto. If you want, if you have a task in mind, if you just use auto, it will create the YAML file. It will automatically run the, uh, you know, run the code and it will generate the output. That's auto. Now, if you do Prison AI in it and then give the task, then it first generates the YAML file so you can have a look at that YAML. So what I'm going to do is something like this. Uh, you know, you can just say create a movie script you can just and you can also bring up external tools uh, about ai taking over taking over the world or something like this when you run this what it does it creates a yaml file for you where you can find out all the workflow let me show you that so i want to create I want my agents to create a movie script for me. So if I'm a movie producer, you know, I can like, or a writer, I can, I need a script from AI agents. You can see it says file content agents YAML. So if you expand that here, and you can see we have a YAML file. Let me just show you that YAML here. Now it's just the framework crew AI. If you want to use Autogen, you can also specify that. 
the topic is create a movie script about AI taking over the world and then you have some roles if you are familiar with crew AI it has roles it has backstory it has you know like task etc that's how the flow looks like now if you look at concept developer that's the first role it has a backstory it has goal and it has a role so it's a goal based agent framework that's what crew AI is now you have backstory goal role and you have the tasks and then you have if you want to use tools you can also leverage tools so if you look at this we have concept developer and then we have storyboard artist and what else do we have and then we have script writer so we have three different agents here that's basically gonna you know collaborate together and work and then create the output for us now this is my yaml file now once i have the yaml file i can just run it so how you can run it you can just do prison ai or you can also do python hyphen m prison ai so if i'm gonna do uh i'm not list You can see it says working agent concept developer starting task entering new crew agent executor chain so basically it has gone into you know all of its tasks the workflow that you have in the yaml it's you now it's going to generate some output and it's going to work you can also do meanwhile you can also do python hyphen m present ai if you want to do that differently you know so let me just let's wait for this and you can see uh, like it's all the verbose logs that we have over here and if you go up all the agents like the first agent was like concept developer and you can you can have a look that's fantastic it uh, looks good now i think we, we we have got what we needed if you scroll down yes and the end so you can see the script that has we, that we have got here okay so if you look at this this is the script task output my my best complete final answer to the task this is the title and you can just scroll down and you can just get this now what i'm going to do is stack trace or something or let me just do mark down to word or something now i'm going to use markdown to text Okay, I want to use what can we use? I want to show you here. Okay, if I remove this thing, or we can also use it in collab as well. Now you can you can look at here. Okay, it says the singularity threshold written by you know you can put a name, fade in introduction to Neo Genesis Corp and Elysium, and it's sleek futuristic building with Neo Genesis Corporation logo prominently displayed. Blah blah blah. In the near future, humanity has reached the pinnacle of AI development. My two, two, two. Mm, 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 mm. introduction to resistance. So it basically gives you the entire movie script, you know, that you can work with. Of course, you can extend how easy it is. Now, even if you don't know anything, you know, crew either, I don't recommend that if you are a beginner, you immediately start with these things. You should always look at the fundamentals and the basics, and then you move into these kind of low code, no code tool. But if you are in Rust, you know, you want to show some output or you want to validate or baseline some of your agents, or if, even if you just want to, you know, test the feasibility of your use cases, you know, if you want, if, if, if even if you should use AI agents or not, then these are, these tools are really good, you know, because that helps you save a lot of time. You know, you can see that just by running a couple of line of command, we are able to, you know, get some output from the agents. Now, of course, you can extend that. If you also want to run differently, what you can do, you can do Python hyphen M and then you can do Python AI. This is, excuse me. This is how you can also run it. Now, if you want to run, it will also run the YAML file that you have created. Now, it also provides UI. So it has chainlet integration and I will leave that up to you for you to try it out. So it has chainlit UI support and it's also pretty easy. Now for that you have to do, I'll just write the code and you can run it. I can give this notebook. Now what you have to do is you have to install, uh, you have to install present AI UI. Okay, excuse me. Prison AI, not chainlit here. I'm gonna put UI. So you need the UI 
and once you have the ui installed what you have going to do is you need to create a chain lit secret so you need this is how you run it so you can call it chain lit create because it uses a reverse proxy you know for that so you're going to use chain lit create secret and after that uh, what you're going to do is you're going to export like you, you need to set that uh, chain lit auth secret here so chain lit underscore auth underscore secret and then goes your keys whatever secret that you have hopefully this making sense and then you can just do present ui and then you can do just present ai and then ui and this is how you can run it now if you run this step you will be able to run chain lit ui as well within present ai so basically you have an user interface for your ai agents now just to work with so this is how you can use guys in a very short videos on present ai that how you can uh, install and work with it if you have any questions thoughts or feedbacks let me know in the comment box you can also reach out to me through my social media channels find those information on channel banner and channel about us if you have any questions related to Prison AI, I will recommend that you go to the GitHub repository, of course, start the repo, and also you can ask your questions in the issues. Now, uh, if you want to join our Discord community, I'll give the link in description. Please join our Discord, Discord community, which is a very growing AI community where we help each other and discuss a lot of AI topics. If you like the content, please hit the like icon. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel, guys. That motivates me to create more such videos in the near future. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.